On May 734, if using GMT Plus 8 time zone, Jack and Jerry 5 posted a community post on YouTube with its captions reading, Fun BFDI Facts, Who Would Have Guessed? The image itself is rather a satirical fun fact of a BFDI tennis ball image relatively at the middle, with the background being a cropped photo of tennis ball from that one Yoyo light scene in BFDI A7. Also kind of want to point out that that scene is rather animated and drawn by Carrie's old or more likely his regular style. The image itself reads, Did you know? Tennis ball spelled backwards is Jack and Jellify. Wow! Now this may sound like the twins are just being unhinged again since it's grammatically impossible for it to be spelled backwards to form Jack and Jellify. But there's one leeway that could quite possibly actually work. Firstly, it's important to acknowledge the main words in use in it. Tennis ball, used literally, is an innocuous phrase bringing to mind the image of a small spherical object in the sport of tennis. It consists of two words, tennis and ball. It creates a specific mental image associated with the sport. In the context of the show, tennis ball is a male contestant on BFDI, BFDIA, IDFB, BFB, and Teapot. Tennis ball competed on the squash, squashy grades in another name in BFDI. Competed on Team No Name until he switched to the Beautiful Face Devotion Institute in Taste the Sweetness in BFDI A. A main role in IDFB and competed on a better name than that until the split in The Escape from 4 in BFB. He's currently competing on Are You OK in Teapot. While Jack and Jellyfy may not be related to anything in the regular Merriam-Webster English Dictionary, if we use the context in YouTube, Jack and Jellyfy is a YouTube channel created by the Huang Tin twins, Michael Huang and Carrie Huang. Started from a school project, they both work together to form BFDI and its community, and still are currently active and working on their newest projects. Now on how Tennis Ball could quite possibly be turned to Jack and Jellyfy if spelled backwards, this is where it gets messy. Jack and Jellyfy is not really a conventional word by any means even if we try to imagine. In fact, it's a made up term for a channel, devoid of any inherent meaning. Upon closer inspection, the word Jack and Jellyfy contain the same letters as Tennis Ball, albeit rearranged in a different order. Tennis ball spelled backwards is actually love scene it. At first glance, it probably doesn't put Jack and Jellyfy into your mind firsthand. However, let's not be too hasty in our conclusions. Upon closer ex examination, we notice that the letters lab Sinet can be rearranged to form Jack and Jellyfy if we apply a bit of creative license. One possible interpretation is to look for patterns or combinations of letters that vaguely resemble Jack and Jellyfy. By rearranging the letters and removing the spaces, we can quite possibly transform Lavsinet into Jack and Jellyfy. Another is we could break down tennis ball into smaller components. For example, for instance, tennis ball could be seen as ten and nis, while ball could be ball and l. Looking for similar patterns or combinations in our reversed string, we might find something like Jack or L, which could be loosely associated with ten and ball, respectively. But today, we'll just use the love sinet phrase for today. Here's how. First, love sinet becomes Hane lives after rearranging the letters. Second, we'll change BS to FY to form Tanelify. And third, finally, let's tweak the spelling of Tan to match Jack. And there we have Jackelify. With a slight adjustment of Jack to Jack and J, we've successfully derived tennis ball to spell Jack and Jellyfy backwards. And that is how tennis ball could quite possibly actually spell Jack and Jellyfy backwards. Truly one of the fun facts of all time. Hope you liked this little analysis video I made out of boredom. Now time to disappear.